Let's talk about prefix tuning. One of a very simple technique in prompt engineering. In this technique, uh, we look at adding a prefix to the input prompt, uh, influencing how the model generates its responses. These prefix uh, are a type of tone, uh, like adding a tone to the model's output. It can be formal, informal, positive, negative, it can be a motivating or a neutral tone. So for example, you were to uh, write a uh, you know, product design campaign uh, for a smartphone. So you would have given a prompt, generate a product description for a smartphone. But if you would like to make it positive, then you can add a prefix to this prompt saying positive tone and then start your main prompt, which is generate a product description for a smartphone. Just by adding this prefix positive tone, it will change the generated output from this model in a way that it will be sounding more positive as we intend to. So a prefix serves as an additional context or instruction to steer the language model output in a desired direction. Wherever you would like to uh, the output to be, be it in a positive side or a negative side, that steering comes with these prefixes. What are the usage areas? Especially it is used for addressing issues like biasing. Not only you can address the biases, but also you can include biasing if you want, right? Apart from that, it also helps you to generate more accurate responses or tailoring the model's behavior to a particular domain or application. So in a particular, uh, let's say domain, we would be have uh, you know all the responses in a particular manner. That sort of tuning can also be done. So I'll take a few examples to make it more clear to you. So first example that we are taking here is uh, for uh, a translation. So the task here that we have is to generate or translate the English uh, sentence, hello, how are you into a French uh, using a formal language. So without the prefix tuning, uh, the ask or the prompt would be translate the English uh, sentence, hello, how are you into English? and then a generated output would be there. Now this, because we did not provide any prefix tuning, so it was a form informal response that was generated by a model saying seller come in besa. Now if you talk about the prefix tuning, here if you see the only difference is I am adding this formal word uh, just as a prefix to my whole sentence. And with that, if you see the generated output changes in a different way. Now it's more of a very formal, uh, uh, translation that we were actually looking at. Let's look at example two, where again the same thing. Uh, I was looking to generate a product description for a smartphone. So the prompt was simple, generate a product description for a smartphone and the response was smartphone is equipped with advanced feature, a powerful processor and a high quality or resolution display. Now this is pretty much uh, a very neutral language. Now with prefix tuning, what I did is just added a positive tone in front of my uh, prompt. So it is a positive tone within brackets followed by generate a product description for a smartphone. And now you see the output. Introducing the incredible smartphone, experience the power of its advanced features, blazing fast processor, stunning high resolution display. You'll be amazed by its sleek design and seamless user experience. Get ready to evaluate your smartphone journey with this exceptional device. So see this tone. Uh, generated by this uh, model, how positive and how uh, vibrant it is. As compared to the previous tone, which I was uh, getting, which was quite very neutral and passive. I mean, uh, I wouldn't expect any buyer to, uh, you know, buy my smartphone after reading that line or listening to that. But if you see at the second prompt, which is uh, the response is quite very positive. And this is what I have done with prefix tuning by just including this positive positive tone as a prefix, I have changed the model output to the desired result. I wanted it to, to, uh, wanted it to sound very positive and very vibrant. So that is something I was able to get with this prefix tuning, right? So this was uh, uh, an example of prefix tuning. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.